up guys? Welcome to 84, uh, day 84 of Onshape. We're going to be looking at something I was going to be doing anyways, looking at parametric equations, uh, kind of unpacking after the automatas a little bit more with these box joints. And it happens so that the POE activity 122 fits it really, really well. And so what we're looking at here is instead of defining a box with static values, length, width, and height, we're going to define them with parametric values, meaning instead of these static values of like 12 inches, we're going to define it as a variable L. So if you're familiar with computer science and coding, you define your variables as a value, and that allows you to change those variables later on down in your code. We're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to take this box, and if I were to take any variables to it, like its length, instead of 24 inches, what if say I wanted 22 inches, it would automatically update, and the box changes its parameters based upon that defined parameter of length. The problem is, is the one you're given is doesn't do that. It doesn't play very well. And so if I were to change right now on the one you're given, it looks like everything fits. You're like, oh, that looks pretty close, and we're, we're really close down here. However, um, we just run into an issue that if we're to change the value, like let's say 20 to 24, what do I notice? Well, my box doesn't automatically adjust or account for that difference. So let's go through step by step on how we get parametrics to work for us and do a lot of the heavy lifting. So this is kind of like hitting a one rep max, knocking it really heavy out of the park, and then the rest of it is just downhill from there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our variables menu. That's a little X to the right. And if you notice, there's two values in there that are hidden, and we're gonna rename them. We're gonna call this num underscore H, so the number of uh, spaces or the number of notches for the height and then the second one is going to be the height end distance length. And so what we've got here is we have our box. Overall length, width, and height determined. The thickness of the material, notch length, number of notches in the length direction. And then now we can just, I'm just going to copy this. Let's see if it'll let me paste it. Nope. Number of notches in the height direction. And then this is the number of notches in the width direction. So now you're seeing we're defining all of these variables uh, by their numbers and their description of what those numbers represent. The other ones in here are going to be the uh, length of end cut. Or I say length end cut, we'll just put it that way. So this is going to be height end cut. And this is going to be width and cut. All right, let's now then change these numbers in our sketches to make sure where they're, they're just pulling these values we've now predefined. So I'm going to go ahead and make that variable table disappear. Just click on it again. And we're going to go to our very first sketch. And if I go into the first sketch, you're going to notice that looks looks like a well-defined sketch. And it is. The problem is, is that this is a static value, meaning it, it's defined as 20. Instead, we want to define this as length. So I'm just going to do hashtag L, and it's going to automatically change that to 24 because L is defined to be 24. This is the end of the length, so we're going to do hashtag L end. Looks great. And then this is going to be hashtag notch space. And then this one down here is going to be hashtag thickness. Boom. So these top values here now are defined as parametric values. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's fix this one. This is going to be hashtag or pound sign height. Ooh. Let me go check my variable table. Something went a little funky. H end. Yep, should be good. Let's try that again. I don't know if I was just typing something funky in or not. So we'll do pound side H underscore. Oh, that's right. 
So if you notice is that this variable table doesn't have those variables defined in it. That's because these are variables are defined afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight them and I'm going to drag them up and put them above sketch one. Oh man, that looks so good now. Now I can use the number. So hashtag num. No, no. hashtag h end. There we go. There we go. This is going to be hashtag ns for notch spacing and then hashtag thickness. And then this one's going to be hashtag height. So now all of our variables, or I'm sorry, all of our values for this first sketch are now parametrically defined. Meaning if we're to change any of our parameters, it's going to automatically affect this sketch. Now let's go ahead and make the variable table disappear again. And let's check this out. So I'm just going from this corner right here. Everything is looking good with this bottom row. The only problem is we have some overlapping geometry now. So let's fix that. Let's work our way down the timeline. So we got the sketch one done. Sweet. We're going to go down to linear pattern. And this instance, or how many times this linear pattern occurs, is a static value. Surprise, surprise, we're going to put it as a parametric. So we're going to do hashtag, and that's going to be length. So num l, hit the green check mark, boom. Ah, C'est magnifique. Okay, let's check this out now. Is this box now performing as expected? I don't know. Let's try out a couple values to make sure everything is good. So I'm going to hit fasten mate. We're going to fasten the center of this square to the center of this square. That's just going to go and keep my lid on there. As those parts move around, they'll just move around accordingly. Now, the true test. If I were to change any of these variables, so instead of, let's say, length being 24 inches, what if it is 20 inches? And what if my height is 10 inches and my width is six inches and my thickness is 0 0.5 let's fix this I made a mistake so let's and let's head back to it so here's the problem you run into if you choose certain parameters that are too small so like width being six inches here what I just said um, if it's too small that kind of gunks up the assembly and where it's at so there are there's a range of acceptable values however the other thing we got to fix is is if I look down here um, at my kind of uh, my assembly so far, this tooth is overlapping. So if I were to take my side, make it inactive, notice how my light blue long side um, was not fully modeled correctly. So we still got to go back and fix that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on this part and I'm going to go to sketch one. And so just to make sure we got everything good, notch spacing looks good there. That sketch looks good, but what's wrong here? And that's the linear pattern for there. So linear pattern one's fixed, but I still need to pick fix linear pattern two. So that's gonna be the number of heights. So it's gonna be hashtag num height. And that should be good to go. So just kind of looking overall, are, is everything else good? I believe so. Okay, you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. Sorry to come back and fix that video. But in any case, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down in the comment section. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and I'll check you out in the next video. Take care.